Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. On this video here, I had a call in from a homeowner who just bought a house, and he had an old oil burner in there that was converted over the gas, and they put a, a Kyle and Easy One um, conversion burner in there, pull the old oil burner out, and they're pretty popular on my way. And uh, he asked me if I could go check it, make sure it's safe. And when I went down there, I looked at the boiler. I said, man, this boiler really needs to go. This thing's nasty. I don't know why they would put a conversion burner into this beast. But he asked me to check it while I was there. I did a couple other things. Uh, hooked up an ice maker for his refrigerator and a couple other things. So I checked it with my meter. Now, the CO2 was pretty low when I put my meter in there. But the oxygen... And the CO2 were out of range according to my cheat sheets. I got a little cheat sheets I go by. Um, manufacturer specifications should be within these ranges. So I tried to adjust the air band, cut the air band back a little bit on the burner. And see if I could bring the oxygen and the CO2 into ranges where they're supposed to be according to the manufacturer specifications. And when I did that, I started losing it on my uh, carbon monoxide readings started climbing. And that was bad. So I had to go back and readjust the air band. And um, not everything's carved in stone. You know, we can go by his factory recommendations and what things should be. But out, out in the field, things aren't always perfect. And I always say that. It's like that with everything. It's like that with air conditioning. It's like that with plumbing. It's like that with, with gas and oil. We, we have parameters we try to stay within. We try to follow. But... Sometimes shit happens and things aren't going to be right. You know, the burner is the, it's an old, old piece of shit burner or uh, boiler and it's probably half blocked. And I ain't even going to think about taking this thing apart. So it's so um, corroded and stuff. But anyway, you can see with the meter as I adjust things, how, how things change. That's why I'm bringing this video just to enlighten a couple of guys and see. You can't do things by eye. You have to really get a combustion analysis. And you can see right on the meter as you make a little adjustment on the air band how things change right in front of your eyes. You know? And um, the draft, I had to reset the draft. The draft was, was not set properly. So the thing's safe to run, but I got to give the guy a, a, a price on uh, a change. A whole new, whole new gas boiler. He got to take that mess out of there and put a new system in. He's due. He knew that when he bought the house. But he just wanted me to check it. So that's why I'm bringing this video. Um, just to show you guys the Kyle and Easy One a gas conversion burner. I see quite a few of them. Um, and I want to start working on more as I come across them. I'll start doing more with them. I might even buy one and just, just hook it up in my garage and just do a little video on it. I might do that. Uh, we'll see. You know, if I come across a used one somewhere and I'll pick it up cheap money, you know. But anyway, that's the deal with this video. Nothing special. Um, it's just for the guys out in the field, basically, that, you know, shows you what the meter can do. You can look at the meter, change the air band. You can see exactly what's happening right on that meter, right in front of you as you make a little adjustment. You look at the meter, make a little adjustments. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Gas conversion burner. I'm gonna check the combustion. Two inch. For a second. It's got four zones here. Fire it up. I really got a cheat sheet on that. That's the easy one, gas boiler. CO2 should be 
between 8.5 and 10.
see if I shut in this, put a little bit of weight on this or something, it'll, it helps my draft. Alright, I got a negative draft now. I had to adjust that, uh, that weight on the flap of that. Just wanted to make sure it was safe to run. He could run it. Lucky needs to get a price. 